Hello, and welcome to Catfish Trash Talk. This is episode 25. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, Noelle Winters Herzog. Noelle, what are you giggling at? <laughs> you you just had like a little spazzes, yeah. like a few of them before we started recording. And I was just, getting ready to record. If you left, it was like you were getting ready. It was I was getting ready. Funny. It's my, uh, my pre-show uh like a ritual Spasm. yeah yeah i liked it mm-hmm. made me giggle thank you so much uh mm-hmm. we're here to talk about not you noel season one episode seven mm-hmm. of catfish the tv show joe and carrie ann this is an episode that always stuck out to me i always like it okay mm-hmm. so the funny thing is is that last week mm-hmm. i thought this was going to be the episode yeah me too right and it's and it said it was kaya yeah no, not the no. Two weeks ago, I thought this was. Gonna oh, be the no, episode. I just thought this was the one up next. Yeah, I thought this was going to be the episode. We thought so. this was going to be the Jared and Abby episode. Yeah, this was them. Yeah, because I'm telling you, I really did forget about the Jared and Abby episode. But, but what I that- didn't forget about what was how nasty Jared was to me when I reached out to him. Tracy, I'm never going to get over it. OK, so here's the thing, right? Um, I try to reach out to a lot of people on the show so that they can give their side of the story. We have a good time, right? We all have a good time. Mm-hmm. Have we, we have not a good had time. a good time with every single person? We really on the show. have. Yeah. Great times. So um, I messaged Jared and he was so nice to me. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so I explained to him what we were doing and he said, what day and what time? So this is October 4th at 640. This is via Facebook Messenger. Okay. And I said, well, are you free Wednesday late afternoon slash early evening? If not, we can be flexible or we can do it tonight if you're around. And he goes, I'm free Wednesday. And I said, okay, cool. Can you be sitting in a quiet place and you use your computer to zoom? And he said, yes, I should be able to. I said, okay, that would be ideal. You're in Georgia still. He says, yes. I said, okay, great. Would 5 PM work or is earlier better? And he said, no, that's fine. I said, okay, perfect. What's your email address? I'll send you the Zoom link closer to the recording time. He sends me his email. I said, okay, thanks. We'll have fun. He says, looking forward to it. Right. Now it's Wednesday, Mm 4.59 p.m. I said, hi, is now still good? No answer. Five minutes later, I audio call him on Facebook Messenger. No answer. Then he says, stuck at work right now. But he couldn't have reached out to you to tell you no, that. Never. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, wow. OK, when can you do it? Because we had it scheduled for now. Mm-hmm. And he said, the downside of my job, I get off when I finish. And my big boss came into town. Okay. And I said, OK, will you be off at some point tonight? He mm-hmm. said, yes. I said, OK, can you record with us for like 10 minutes when you get off? He said, yes. This was at uh, five o'clock, right? Right. At eight o'clock, I said, hey, checking in. Mm -hmm. And he says, I can't do a voice call. I'm still driving. Oh, I can do a voice call. I'm still driving. And I said, oh, no, it's a podcast. We have to have good audio. Are you interested doing it when you get home? If not, it's fine. It's just that we had booked the time to record at five o'clock. Yes. Okay. He said, you ready? Mm -hmm. You wanted my computer for Zoom and it's microphone. It's worse than my phone. I am a single parent that has to work my ass off to support my child. And I'm very sorry you booked that time, but I certainly didn't intend for my day to be spent getting yelled at by my boss. I'm not going to be able to do it. Sorry for wasting y'all's time, but my life can't just stop for a podcast. Asshole. And I said, there's no reason to be rude. He said, have a good one and good luck. You were very rude to me multiple times. Wow. And I said, I was actually really nice. We were looking forward to having you on the podcast. I was just caught off guard when you didn't even let us know that you were canceling. Right. He said, I would have loved to do it, but you definitely came off very off putting when I wasn't able to do what y'all expected. And it was a situation out of my control. And I said, like a jerk, I'm sorry you feel that way. (laughs) So passive aggressive. You had agreed to do it at five. Never told us otherwise. So we were waiting for you. I'm not really sure how I was rude. He Mm -hmm. said, I offered to voice call, but that wasn't good enough, even though my eight year old computer isn't a podcaster's dream. And I said, you didn't say anything about that when I asked you. So how was I supposed to know? Right. And he said, again, I'm sorry I wasted y'all's time, but my day has honestly been quite stressful. And I said, no problem. Have a great night. Unfortunately, we won't be able to tell your side of the story. And he never said anything after that. Never. That was so unnecessarily rude. So bad boy. Yeah, bad guy. But you know what? Yeah. We heard a little bit 
of Melissa's side of the story on the episode. I think that was mm-hmm. episode 23. Mm-hmm. And mm, on brand. Yeah, I liked it. I really liked on it. Brand. I like talking to her anyway. She was great. She was really great. Um, mm-hmm. So guys, if you didn't listen to episode 23 and you don't know what we're talking about, jump over there. Hop on over. Hop on over there. And if you want more of me and Noel, go to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. All right. All right. So now this episode starts off with a coming attraction, right? Like as all of them do. Yes. Okay. But the problem is, is that the coming attraction gives up who it is. You see her okay. face. It shows her face and her voice. Yeah. So I mean, that about? I saw it and I'm like, okay, so now they're just giving it away in the beginning. Literally the only scene it is, is just her uh-huh. pulling up and going, Hey, yeah, it was weird. Why did we, why did we do that? It's stupid. You know, they give away a lot on this show. Yeah. Yeah, they do. It's very stupid. Noel, that was the only moment they showed. I know. I don't know why. So weird. Mm -hmm. Um, But uh, it was a this was an interesting episode. I like it. I've watched it a few times already. So mm -hmm. uh, it always makes me laugh. It's very uh, random. Yes, Mm -hmm. it is. All right. So we're in northern New York. And yes. we meet Joe Samareski. Yes. At first, I thought it was Mariski. And I'm like, that's what I call my dog. How funny. Mariski. Yes. Now, it's uh, it? <laughs> Joe Chico Mariski. Yes. <laughs> and he is dating. Very mm-hmm. famous. Yeah. Uh, her name is Carrie Ann Paniche. Yes. She was mm-hmm. Miss United States teen 2003. Yes. Wow. He lives in Western New York. Okay, so here's the thing. So first yeah. they say we're in Northern New York, and then they're like, here we are in Western New York. Yeah. I'm thinking it's Northwest New York. It's it's like five and a half hours from here. Yes. Because, I looked it up. <laughs> um, They're in Genioso because that's where the hotel is that Neve and Max are staying in. Well, that's where they're saying he's in Warsaw. Right, but that's like the area. I'm assuming. Right, of course. And it's the middle of nowhere, basically. People don't think of New York, like anything in New York like that. This is, okay, so I've always said if you go far north enough and uh-huh. west enough in New York, you return to the south. It's true. You're like, you are in Missouri suddenly. Yes, but now the great part about New York is if you go east enough, you are mm-hmm. also in the south. It's, you're so right. It's true. <laughs> I'm watching this and I'm like, they're in New York. It's true, though. It's so great. Mm-hmm. So Joe says he lives in Western New York. Neve said that someone who is doing this would have to have balls to impersonate a celebrity. Okay, really? Okay. I don't know about all that. Mm-hmm. Looking into the future. I'm yes. like Katy Perry, Little Bow Wow. I was going to say Little Bow Wow. Gun Kelly. Uh, Rich Dollars. Yeah, like, yeah. come on. Uh huh. Rich Dollars. A lot of people. What, a, what a name. I know. Rich. I know. He's from you, Love and Hip Hop. I know, but it makes me giggle every time. He is such a character. I wish you watched Love and Hip Hop New York. I'm glad I don't. So <laughs> she hit him up first. Mm hmm. And he's also doing his interview with Neve and Max in a bookstore because it has free Wi-Fi because he doesn't have a webcam and he has a computer with a modem. Now, 2012. Yeah, not even that long ago, less than a decade. Okay, but this is how much technology has changed since 2012. It just so much has changed. Mm -hmm. Because you're like, what year was that? 93. And it's like, oh, no. Two thousand twelve. We were we were in the dark age. I mean, we weren't as much in the dark ages as he is. But I was in my thirties. That is startling. Yeah, I don't know how. Old. There's I was no in way. My thirties. The technology was that bad. What was it like when I was a teenager? Noel, I, it was the Stone Age. We were in. First of all, we were sharing your two way pager. <laughs> That's true. That's how you know it was bad. That's crazy. Huh? That's what we were doing. We, I was yeah. like, can we uh, send a text message mm-hmm. to a friend? Yes. And you were like, all right, let's pull over. That's so funny. Let's pull over. Free and nights and weekends. Like, well, do they also have a two way pager? Right. They have to have one because otherwise there's no way to get the mm-hmm. same. All right. So. This guy, Joe, mm-hmm. is wearing sunglasses in the bookstore. 
he's wearing transition lenses. He's I wearing, I don't know. They're, I understand that, but he has to have been in the bookstore for a little while. You would Tracy. think they would have transitioned back. He needs sun tax. That's the problem. He needs sun tax. I know. Sun the whole tax. time I'm watching, I'm like, this guy needs sun tax. He really does. Do you think that obviously maybe he was being filmed by MTV as well? Uh, and there were lights? Or you think it was just the lights of the library computer that were I don't know. I think his activating. glasses shorted out. <laughs> you think they were activating his transition? I think he needs a new transistor. Oh man, his transistor broke. <laughs> he um he's an asshole. I just want to put this out there. I'm just saying. <laughs> he really he's not, is. It's, it's not subtle, great, though, but it's subtle. He, you know, I just want to say, if I had half of his ego, my oh. life would have been a lot easier. Correct. You know, I would feel so good about myself all the time. I know. What? Did, who did you say that he looked like? John Denver. Yeah, he does. He does. He, does. he looked like he crashed into a mountain, right? Oh my John God. Denver did. <laughs> did he die in a plane crash? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so he said that money is holding him back. Me. Me too. <laughs> now, this girl, Carrie Ann, she has done Playboy. Mm-hmm. And Max and Neve are like, whoa. No That's way. A babe, babe meters going on. <laughs> We've never seen a naked girl, bro. Wing. What was the <laughs> showing? Showing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so they go to his yard. She, he's got a trampoline. He's got gas tanks. He has derby cars. He has four wheelers. And Neve takes the four wheeler for a spin. And <laughs> what a mistake this is. This guy has a button down shirt on riding a mm-hmm. four wheeler. Mm-hmm. He comes back. He's like, Bro, the, the brakes don't work. He's like, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. there's no brakes. That was a death trap. Yeah. He said that there's uh, there's horses. And then he says there's more cows than people in this area. But there's a puppy. There's a what puppy. Kind, I didn't, what kind of puppy was it? Was it was a pit bull puppy. Oh, like not puppy, but probably like eight months old. Very wow. cute. Mm-hmm. It's very specific. In very I um, I can read dogs. Yes. I know. You're like, he's 38 mm-hmm. weeks old. It was mm-hmm. beautiful. Yes. Uh huh. So Joe posts on Facebook that he's lonely, lonely. And this girl responds and they start chatting. Yeah, right. So was it public? I I guess guess. so. Yeah. He went to school with this girl, Rose. Right. And she knows Carrie Ann in real life. The thing is, he never says he's friends with Rose. It's just like, I went to school with her. Right. And they're in his house on his Mm -hmm. desktop computer. Mm-hmm. I have very many things in this house. They are in the most cluttered room of American flag memorabilia that I've ever seen in my life. Did you see how many wind chimes were hanging up in the living room? Well, and here's yeah. the thing. The fan was on. Not one wind chime moved. It's where they're probably glued to the wall. They must be. There was so many. I was like, Tracy's blacking out right now. I could not believe how much stuff was everywhere it was such a messy house and I know that people are like well you know maybe just because you have a lot of stuff does not mean you're dirty sure I agree how do you clean all that stuff you clean all that stuff okay the thing is I don't I think it's dusty you I clean all that dirty stuff. I'm afraid that they're what's hiding what is in, in the, there in there there what are there? spiders hiding Noel, in the wood crevices. when do you think the last time they cleaned the billions of things that are glued to the walls not never. a long time no i'm gonna say a uh, uh, long never. time ago uh-huh never i'm gonna mm-hmm. say it hard never and i'm you know what i'm even gonna say they might have been dirty when they put them up maybe right maybe they just went from dust to wall <laughs> <laughs> from <laughs> dust you came and from wall you shall return <laughs> little, yes little catholic uh mm-hmm. stuff in there noel this house yeah. all i have to say is this yeah, say it. I think the American flag meant a lot to him and his family. <laughs> I wish everybody knew it. Just saying. So now she has a kid, this girl. Yes. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. She's a kid. They're like, it's... you didn't tell us that. And he's like, oh, didn't I not? Because he doesn't care. She's, he thinks this is his ticket out. Yes. Yes. And they're like, it. do you think that you could do that? He's like, yeah, whatever. Like, it's fine. Whatever it is. Yeah. And then he mm-hmm. said that he thinks maybe it might be his ex because he just got out of a relationship. Mm-hmm. And then 
they listened to a message that she left him on his bootleg sidekick. Yes. I was like, what is this? It's a phone. It's like singular, I think, made this phone. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Phone. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> beautiful She's like, phone. hi, Joe. I love you and I miss you. Mm-hmm. And they're like, does that sound like your ex? And he's like, I don't think so. Mm-hmm. It's like, were you present at the time Mm-mm. of dating your ex? Mm-mm. No. Okay, cool. Mm-mm. And then Neve says he's tasted the forbidden fruit and he wants more. But what is, how has he tasted anything? He's tasted nothing. Mm -hmm. He's tasted dust flying in the air while he's on his modem. (laughs) Yes. He has tasted a transition lens. That's about (laughs) it. (laughs) And Max says that it can't be her because quote, she's a hot potato. I don't think he knows what a hot potato is. He doesn't know what a hot potato is, but Max is basically like this kid is gross gross Mm -hmm. and uh she's not so there's no way she's talking to him listen he's a realist i know but she's a hot potato i mean when i say something's a hot potato i guess i don't refer to anything as a hot potato you know what a hot potato is no it's an issue that makes everyone feel uncomfortable oh it comes up a lot in politics this is almost like um i don't want to say the elephant in the room because that's not really it but like um if there's like political in politics it comes up like oh this person won't talk about this issue it's a hot potato really yes so do you think they carry like a in- sore subject thank you yes. okay carry okay. is a hot potato i think he would say like a hot tamale I don't know. I don't even think you should say that either. But maybe that's what he was thinking of. Or maybe he potato. should say hot to trot. That <laughs> well, hot to trot. She's foxy. She's a vixen. Yeah, she's a vixen. I like it. Um, I remember when <sighs> I was like a freshman in high school and my boyfriend's friend called me a vixen. Mm hmm. And I was like, I'm not positive what that means. I don't know if that's good or bad. And then I yeah. asked someone and they were like, oh, yeah, it's a kind of deer. And I was like, that's ew. On, on daughter and did and yeah. <laughs> how is that? I, I know the words very well. No, no, that was good. But um, you're a Christmas song singer. I mean, you would think Noel Winters would be. It's like on uh, Cupid and Blitzen and Donner and it's a vixen. female fox. That's what it is. It's a female fox. I had an ex that used to call me a vixen. He was. He's an asshole. He lives in Florida now. Bye. Bye. Mm-hmm. But I, I thought that it was I, I thought it was a deer. It's not a deer. It's a it's a female fox. But... I think, yeah, venison is the deer. <laughs> Imagine he called me a venison. Yeah. Oh, my sweet little venison. Oh, my God. You're so gamey. Mm, yum. <laughs> You're so bored gamey. Yum. So now they're going to do their research. Mm-hmm. And then Max says something that dates this episode so much. What does he say? So they're looking at her wall and he's like, yeah, but are these just dudes that are sweating her? I like that, though. That's like saying, get off my jaw. Uh-huh. You know? Right. That's the best. <laughs> oh, Max. Sweating. Stop sweating me. So the funny thing is, too, is that like terminology for social media has not really been established yet. Yes. So they see Kyle on her Facebook and they're like, all right, email Kyle. <laughs> And it's like, do you mean DM, Kyle? Yeah, DM or PM. PM, DM, IM, all the M's. Mm-hmm. No, all email. the M's. No email. So now we see, we find on Facebook, Rose, Joe's friend. She was at right. a Playboy event in Vegas with Carrie Ann. Right. But it looks like she's a fan that just went to like this Playboy event. Okay, that's what I thought. She just looks like she's there like posing for a picture as a fan. Like at a meet and greet. Yes, Exactly. And then they see Rose in a very small bikini with that is the smallest bikini top I've ever seen. Also, Max, he's never seen one smaller than that as well. But how would that ever support that would never support me (laughs) ever? I I don't think it supported her either, but we're going to get there. Yeah. Okay. so Neve says uh, calls Rose and Mm -hmm. says, the reason I'm here is because I'm shooting a docuseries. The reason you're here. Right. Right. You mean the reason I'm calling mm-hmm. the reason I'm here in the hotel He's room? nervous. He's nervous. I know. So Rose never met Carrie Ann in person, but they spoke on the phone about working on a modeling project, a.k.a. a movie together. Well, Rose, did you mean 
Mm -hmm. that you were going to be the photographer? Like, what does that mean? We're working on a modeling project. She means like with poster smash, board. She means smash broccolis on film. That's this was way means. before OnlyFans, Noel. No, for uh, for <laughs> the cha- for the Spice Channel, I guess. <laughs> Or maybe for like Cinemax after dark. <laughs> Skinemax. Uh-huh. <laughs> so they call her agent, right? Mm-hmm. They find him on Facebook and he's super nasty about her personal life. His name is Mike Esterman. And they're like, wow, he has pics with Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> and you're like, same. Yeah. I'm like, I ate lasagna with Gilbert Godfrey. He calls me Maria. Yeah. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> he was like, Maria, huh? Heat up my lasagna hotter, Maria. And they're like, your name's not Maria. It's like, yes, it is. Yeah, I love lasagna. And Gilbert oh, Gottfried. God. I loved him. If you guys want to hear more about me and Gilbert Gottfried and our love affair, uh, go over to Only in New York podcast. And we have an episode with him. Very soon. Yes. All right. So this guy, Kyle, calls. And he's like, yeah, I've known Carrie Ann for two, 10 years. And I also hook up with her. But he's so believable. He's so confident in what he says. He's not believable because if you see the picture of him, yeah. you're like, bro. I don't know. I feel like he was very believable at the time. You're easily believed. I'm usually not. I'm not a cult follower. I don't know. <laughs> so he confirms her phone number and they're like, wow, good for you, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I boys will not, be boys. I feel like this is like a little bit and I do feel like catfish does this they objectify women a lot okay so I've noticed that especially on this episode and also I feel anytime there's a pretty woman anytime there's a pretty woman but did you feel like almost like they like bullied her in a weird way on this episode they were like nasty everybody was nasty to her it was it was a very weird vibe I'll tell you yeah that. it was it was very awkward it was like the men banded together yes yes so they think that everything is true they're like wow it's really her yes so now uh yeah, in- Neve bugs out I like, know he was like, he was beaming. yeah he's like this cow horse guy is gonna get to bang this playmate this guy that fucks cows for a living uh-huh <laughs> so now we're in Lakeville New York and we're at mini hands Right. This is a batting cage. This is like a sports complex. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's one and in Staten Island. Rose is there. Mm-hmm. And she's saying that she grew up in Long Island. She moved to Florida and now she lives upstate. You know what I heard when she said that? What? Uh, I heard I lived in New York, Florida. Then I moved to Florida, Florida. And then I moved to upstate Florida because that's yes. Upstate New York is the Florida of New York. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> You're so right. She just went from like South Florida to North Florida yes. yeah. to, to East Florida to East Florida. Yes. She's just going to all the Floridas. OK. Yeah, she belongs. Mm-hmm. So she has her boobs all the way out. OK, in a sweater. That's a very interesting choice. Very low cut sweater. Yep. And mm-hmm. she only talks to Carrie about business, she said. Right. OK, about smashing broccoli. <laughs> Smashing, uh, what's it? Um, smashing pumpkins. Smashing pumpkins. Yes. <laughs> so now we meet Joe's friend Harley. He is. Um, okay. Let's see. It reminds me of Tyler's friend. Yes, from On, Teen Mom. Oh, gee. He yeah. is. Uh, as I'd like to say, a country boy. I think I met him, and I'm going to tell you where I think I met him. Where? I think I met him in. Western Virginia, not in West uh-huh. Virginia, but in Western Virginia at a cattle auction. <laughs> I think you did, too. Mm-hmm. So Rose is like, hey, listen, she must be real if you talk to her agent. I mean, Rose is like really trying to sell it here. I know. And she's like, I think he has a shot with her. Mm-hmm. It's like, what? Then they they drive the go karts and mm-hmm. they really hope they're right. So they call her and they have a very weird phone conversation with Carrie. <laughs> It was so awkward. She's so snotty. She's mm-hmm. like, I don't have to tell you anything. Very right. nasty. And she also reveals that she's in New York City, even though she's from L.A., right? She's a West Coast. Yeah. Girl. Mm-hmm. She said that she's in New York City. She wants to come by herself to meet him. And then she apologizes. Yeah, because she was super defensive for no reason. Yeah. So now we meet Jake and Lucille, his parents, and they are also country folk. Well, they said 
we are country folk. We stick to our own. They stick <laughs> to their own. What the hell does that mean? So many things and then nothing all at once. Yeah, we stick to our own. We stick to our own family, our immediate family. Right. <laughs> it means a lot of things. It means um, it means things, things that the police would get involved in. Yeah. It means things that... You it know, means things I had to check off when I went to the doctor today. Right. Like, <laughs> are you guys brother and sister or are you not uh-huh. brother and sister? Mm-hmm. Yes. And then they tell Joe that she's in New York City and he says it mm-hmm. like that salsa commercial. He's like, what New is- York City? What salsa was that? I don't I don't remember. Oh, that was so I remember. funny. Do you, rem- do you remember the commercial? I, re- I just remember this, the New York City, but I don't remember the salsa. Okay, let's see. Like um, that to me, that could have even been like a, a Cheetos commercial. You know what I mean? I didn't know. No, no, no. It was commercial. because um, they were like, our chili is. Oh, Pace. That's what it was. Wow. I didn't even know. Pa- Pace is like slept on. I didn't even know they had commercials. Noel, this was like the biggest commercial of all time. <laughs> Hold on. We're going to play it. Sorry, we have to go through the ad on YouTube, but that's just how it goes. All right. That's just life. All right. So they're out on out on the range. Okay. okay. Pecani sauce. Yeah. This ain't paste pecani sauce. What's the difference? Cookie. Paste pecani sauce is made in San Antonio. With fresh vegetables and spices by people who know what pecani sauce is supposed to taste like. This stuff's made in New York City. New, New York, York City. City. Get a rope. All right. So that's what he says, basically. Okay. Like, New York City. That wasn't what I was expecting. I don't even remember that. I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, because Pace is the one that's made in Texas. That, How so long ago the- was that? That was old, right? <laughs> I don't know. That's when I was little. In the I 60s. feel like you remember things from when you were like six years old. I do. I know. I mean, I, I do in some ways. Very vividly. Um, I was watching on television. Maybe I was four. Mm-hmm. The Christmas toy. Do you remember this movie? Kermit the Frog was in it very briefly. He made a cameo. Was this where all the toys came to life? Yep. I was obsessed with this. Mm-hmm. We I so only saw I. it one time on TV. I have the we, tape of it. Okay, I have it on VHS. I have I it on VHS. It off of television. My mother has it from VHS. Now, let yep. me tell you mm-hmm. something that's always stuck with me about that. Okay. There is a commercial during it for Cheese mm-hmm. Whiz. Mm-hmm. In said commercial... They are heating cheese was up and putting it on apple slices. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? I have cheese was I bought some the other day with you. <laughs> what mm. is apples? I guess because people put cheddar cheese. I on know, but it's pie. just like. That's what it's like. A get holiday. a piece of bread. We get a piece of bread. Seriously, get a chip. Mm. Get a Ritz. Yum. Yum. Sorry, you're really triggering me. I'm gluten free. I'm sorry. Uh, You're going to you can have a stomach ache after this. Yes. (laughs) So now Carrie Ann's mom, right after that phone call, posts on Carrie Ann's wall in all caps. Don't make plans Saturday. It's like, okay, yeah. Max is like something's fishy. Mm -hmm. That is fishy. She's trying to get out of this or at least Mm -hmm. have an out if she needs to. That's grooming. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're in the kitchen. They're in Joe's kitchen. Mm-hmm. We have shifted from American flags, meaning a lot to their family, to horses, meaning a lot to their family. He has a cereal called O's, O-H, apostrophe mm-hmm. S. Mm-hmm. And at first I was like, is this like a Trader Joe's thing? That I'm like, look at where I am. No, they're saw. really called O nose. That's what they're <laughs> really called. I'm like, what is this? Yeah. The kitchen is all horse memorabilia. Bad time there. Bad there time. are many various sizes of animal kennels in the kitchen. Yes, there are. It looks like maybe there's mats on the floor of the kitchen from a car. Okay, I could see that. Yes. It looks like also when they finish something in the kitchen, they throw it on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything is there. It looks like a dive bar meets a gas station. It looks like they've never opened one envelope of mail in their lives. (laughs) There's piles of mail. A lot. Now, Uh they call Rose and they're like, when will you be here? And she goes, give me 20 minutes. And then she corrects That's what herself the GPS says. and goes, mm-hmm. the GPS says 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. They don't even care. They're like, perfect. So they mm-hmm. wait for her in the driveway near the original Dukes of Hazard car. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
Mm -hmm. Yes. And then we see the scene that we opened up with is it's Rose. She gets out of the car and she hugs him like they are revealing a beautiful secret. I love her leopard bra. This was a look. This was definitely a look. She said that she's falling in love with him, but also does this just for the entertainment. Okay, meaning you don't care about him. And also, if you look in the background on this beautiful double car garage, there is uh-huh. a sign that says Merry Christmas. Uh, and this is in the summer. This is from uh-huh. the summer. Yes, it is. Uh-huh. She brags about how many profiles she has. And well, that's the thing. She's bragging about this. She's now. bragging. And mm-hmm. then he's like, uh, I don't know. And she goes, I'm apologizing in front of all these cameras. I mean, what the fuck? So here's the thing. They said something like she's like, I came here like to apologize. And Eve is like, so you came here for him. You came back for him. And it's like, what? I know they're trying to make it like this love like affair. she came back from florida for him or something like what what i don't know but she has gold chains hanging off the rips in her jeans yes this whole look is really put together she's wearing such low cut jeans this was such a look it really was so now the crew comes in into his house they call rose this is the next day i guess mm-hmm. and they want to talk to rose alone right so they go to her house and she they're like is are you is anyone home? And she's like, it's just me. <laughs> Rose, you don't live alone. She thinks that she lives alone, but her house much better than his. Sure. But I'm she doesn't saying. live alone. Of course she doesn't live alone. She lives with her mom. She said that it just got a little out of hand and she does not want to give up her fake profile. She has her other friends involved as well. She's right. addicted. Mm-hmm. She remembers. Right, but she doesn't care about Joe. She doesn't care about him at all. She remembers everything she tells people. And then they see a guy named Jeff and they're like, who's that? And she's like, just some guy. And they're like, you asked him if he wants to get engaged. And she's like, yeah, but on Facebook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No big deal. She said that she doesn't want to delete any of the profiles. And Max is like, you should be a writer. This is great. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, well, that's the thing. Max is always trying to like lift them up at some Uh point. Like after he berates them. (laughs) He like thinks of a new career for that. Right. He's like, you know what you should really do with this terrible energy? Uh Uh-huh. It's like, you should be a writer and then you should take what you write and burn it in a garbage can. (laughs) It's true. (laughs) She posed that she needs to be to clear her head. So now she goes on Carrie Ann's profile and Uh she's like, hey, guys, I'm going to be away from a little while because I need to clear my head. Do not contact me in any way. She writes a goodbye message. Shut up. Okay, but how about just deactivate? Could you even deactivate back then? No, I don't know. I think you could. So now she sits to talk with Joe alone and she apologizes. And she's like, listen, I have a lot of issues I need to deal with. Okay, here's the thing. Here's Mm -hmm. my problem. He is disappointed that it was her. Well, she said that she developed feelings for him and he's like, okay, cool. We're just friends though. Right, that's the thing. It's like, this man he thinks like she is Is underneath him okay i think that she is just because of what she did but so do i if we're look, if we're talking about what she looks like would i be disappointed if i was joe that's the thing he seems very disappointed and it's like i've seen some real winners here on catfish and she's probably been like it's weird high up there in the looks department so she tells Mm -hmm. neve that he should be a better detective And nasty before they leave, Joe's like, hey, guys, I need you to drive next to my four wheeler to tell me how fast I'm going. They're like, you don't have a speedometer. You don't have brakes. Maybe you shouldn't drive 55 miles an hour without brakes. Okay, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, I hope this isn't the same one. I think it is now. I think it is. As they're driving away, Max says, stay clean. Mm hmm. Stay off the junk. They're in meth town, I think. I know. Just saying. Now, a month later. Yeah. We catch up with them. Rose deactivated her profile for 24 hours. (laughs) She now has more than a thousand friends. And she met her boyfriend through her fake profile. She moved to California to go live with her boyfriend. And Joe has had no contact with Rose. He's single but looking. But here's the thing. So she Mm -hmm. went to California and now her, her boyfriend was couldn't believe it wasn't carrying on but But now he's accepting her so she took her ass to california still as carrie ann she is not well 
is she or is the guy that was like, yeah, live with me and then also keep doing this to other people while you live in my house? Well, he doesn't know she's still doing it. Obviously. I mean, she, he's going to see in like four minutes when he yeah, watches this episode. It's so weird. Now, what are the updates that you have on Joe? So I didn't have much on Joe at like for recently. Right. The last thing that I was able to find was that he had been arrested. It says Joe Samersky, 20 of Warsaw, was charged with criminal possession of stolen property, larceny and trespassing. He allegedly stole returnable cans and bottles. Mm -hmm. He was jailed in lieu of $250 bail and is to appear May 9th in village court. That is what I got. <laughs> so he stole returnable cans and bottles. Yes. And our he, guy. in a follow up interview, he was like, ah, I was just being stupid. Right. He, because they were, he was How asked, is it about Rose? And he's like, yes and no. OK, right. I don't get it. Sure. <laughs> he was trying yeah. to like, I just want to know, like, why? What? Why yeah. did you return? What? Why did you steal the cans? Walk me through this. <laughs> What does this have to do with Rose exactly? Right. <laughs> now we're going to give you a Rose update. I, I can't wait. You are going to blow my mind. I dug deep. So she was on a Snapchat series, which is also on YouTube called Love Don't Judge. So this is April 29th, 2020. She is dating Kimberly. She is a 50 year old woman. They have a 22 year old, a 22 year age gap. Uh huh. She's Rose said she's been gay since high school. Kim was in the military and Kim came out after she got out of the military because it was don't ask, don't tell. Mm -hmm. And Kim fell into online scams. And for some reason, Rose is the one that saved Kim from a catfish scam. And that's how they were connected. I think really? she was the catfish mm -hmm. scam. So now they're going to go meet her friend, Lexi. This is um, Rose's friend, Lexi. And Lexi's like, I didn't know what this 50 year old woman wanted with my friend. I thought she wanted Rose's money. And it's like, money. oh no, it's the opposite thing. The old person, the young person wants the old person's money. Yeah, That's how I would think. Also, something else yeah. I found out, Rose was going to be on that celebrity boxing match in Atlantic City that Farrah was supposed to fight Drita Stop at. it. Yeah, Stop she, it. Was, she was the, the opener. What, who was she going to box? Or what was she going to do? Know. She was going to box. Wow. So now I watch another video on her youtube channel which is gold you sent me two very interesting videos okay so she said that she got paid to do catfish because she doesn't work for free okay. she said that i her call bullshit then she said that her and joe aren't friends and never have been so then that's why like when she, well why that's she, like when he said i went to high school with her okay he said he was friends with her cool then why was she at the batting cages I don't know, because if I was going to film my episode of Catfish, like you would be my friend. But like some girl that I haven't seen since high school wouldn't be my friend. Well, that's the thing. That's why I think she's also full of shit. But that's how I know that she contacted. Yeah. Catfish. Uh huh. All right. So September 2014, she posted on her YouTube page her Bad Girls Club audition to YouTube. Yes. She shows on her couch that looks like it's from the show Roseanne. Wood she's paneling. Like, yes. Yes. She's there's a bunch of makeup spilled onto the couch and she goes, that's my makeup. It means the world to me. It's very expensive. It's more expensive than any of your weaves. She said that she keeps it real. She's very confident and she will be trashed 24 seven if they hire her. In the that Club. was her casting. Didn't you watch it? Noelle? I watched so it because she says like, I'm going to be drunk all the time because when I drunk, I do amazing things. She's like, I don't even need other people on. The yeah, show she's me. like, I do amazing things. It's like, what are you talking about? It makes so much more sense that that was a casting. It yes. looks like she filmed that like with I don't even know. Like it's very Zach not Morris good. phone. It's very yeah. not good. Now, also, I dug a little bit. I dug Tracy. So deep. I'm never going to get over that okay. last video. So I found out that she was a uh, a porn actress. Mm -hmm. an actress that does pornography yes uh and her name in the porn industry is cat crown k-a-t-k-r-o-w-n in case no one's gonna google that lol okay can't right. wait um she i will say this i have never in my entire life mm -hmm. seen breasts this beautiful they're very nice i can't believe it like i want to take this porn 
mm-hmm. and go to a plastic surgeon and be like this. Give me these. This is what I want. Yeah, I agree. I want these exact breasts mm-hmm. a little bit smaller because I don't want my back to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> but this is the shape of breasts that I would like. They're very nice. I can't believe it. Yeah, they are very nice. Um, it was a very interesting video. It was a very interesting video. That wasn't the first one that um, I saw. Okay. Well, I, the one I, that you sent me was interesting. The one that I sent you. Okay. I'm going to try to describe this very PG. Okay. I can't wait. Okay. She is engaging in an activity with a man who's a very nice man. She okay. seems to really like him. She likes him a lot. Uh-huh. And he says, I'm going to come. Uh-huh. Oh, no, no. He says, do you want some come? And she says, I do. I do. And I'll give you some tacos. <laughs> okay. Now I know that you're like, what do you mean? But I'm going to play you the audio. Oh, do it. Oh my God. Do it. <laughs> do it. I don't Very even. Excited I'm like, wait, this. what? And that's how, you know, I'm a woman watching porn because I'm like, there's a hole in the storyline. Yeah. I need to know more <laughs> about this. Like, what were the directors saying to you that triggered you to say that? Right. What's the like, theme? You're in a restaurant. It's a Mexican restaurant. Mm-hmm. You're Mexican at a Mo's. <laughs> she was at Mexican Mo's. She was at Mexico Mo's. <laughs> uh, all right. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me put my volume up. Okay. Beautiful scene. Hold on. Sorry, guys. He said, you want some cum? She said, yes, give me some cum. I'll give you some tacos too. Very, very interesting. Line. It must have been a Tuesday. <laughs> Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Tracy, that was Google very her, guys. Good. Google her. Google her. She is the gift that keeps on giving to this she, day. She's fantastic. Watch that mini series on YouTube. Watch uh, all of her actress videos. This is what I'm going to spend my night doing tonight. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's really I good. I can't wait. I don't hate her. I don't hate her at all. Um, Good for her. I don't like him. Yeah, no, I don't like him. Mm -mm. Follow Noelle at Noe Girl on Instagram and Twitter. Follow me at Trixie Tuzina on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you're giving us a five-star rating, an amazing review. And if you want more of us, go over to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast for so much bonus content. Your mind will blow. It's going to explode. We'll give you some tacos. Yum. Bye. Bye.